What if you received a threatening letter over the email? Or what if somebody faxed to your home a suicide note? Or what if you were working in your company and suddenly got really damaging information sent to you about the CEO? Or you unfortunately had a child missing and received a ransom note? These are the kind of scenarios where language can really serve as evidence in investigative, criminal, and civil cases. And as we enter more and more into the digital world, this kind of evidence becomes more and more important forensically because this is evidence where there are no physical traces many, many times, just the language itself. The academic discipline that studies language in and of itself is called linguistics. And in linguistics, we focus on what kinds of structures are in language that makes language learnable so quickly. And we also focus on the differences in these structures from one language to another. And a third thing we focus on is how can we make machines, speaking of this digital age, perform linguistic behaviors for us, such as finding things on the internet or classifying a load of documents for us. I'm a forensic linguist, and I began this work because a suicide note was left on a computer, and there was no paper, no ink, nothing but the language itself. A very inquisitive and persistent detective named W. Allison Blackman of the Raleigh Police Department contacted me to see if I could possibly help him determine if that suicide note was authored by the decedent or someone else. Applying the kinds of tools we develop in linguistics, syntactic analysis, the analysis of words and how they're put together in phrases, and computational linguistics, developing software that helps us analyze language, I was able to show that there was only a one in 10,000 chance that the dead person had actually written a suicide note and I could not differentiate the suicide note from one of his roommates. At that point, the roommate was arrested, and later during his trial, he admitted that he wrote the suicide note. My name is Carol Chasky. I'm the president of Alias Technology. I develop software to solve forensic problems. Thank you.